हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डीजी क्लासेस ऑफ क्राइस्ट चर्च कॉन्वेंट स्कूल आई एम पूर्णिमा शुक्ला स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड इन सोशल साइंस इन क्लास सिक्स यू हैव स्टडीड द हिस्ट्री एंड कल्चर ऑफ एंशंट एरा नाउ इन क्लास सेवन्थ यू विल लर्न अबाउट द हिस्ट्री एंड कल्चर ऑफ मेडिवल एरा history has been divided into three parts ancient age medieval age and modern age when in a country or a particular place there is a change in the development of existing human civilization in areas like economic political administrative and social aspects of life then a new age is said to begin the medieval indian history begins from the 8th century ad The medieval period of India has been divided into two parts a early medieval period 8th to 13th century AD later medieval period 13th to 18th century AD where AD means anno domini its meaning is in the years of lord sources now sources of study of medieval india there are two main sources to know about the ancient history literary source they are writings on palm leaves and birch bark archaeological sources inscriptions written on plates of copper or on stones from the 13th century paper was used for writing during this period some foreign writers also came to india with the turkish invaders who had written some books like ibn batuta and al biruni from the 15th to 18th century the mughals ruled almost o- over the whole of india they had written their autobiographies autobiography means the story of a person's life written by himself like babar nama humayun nama akbar nama the court writers of the local rulers thinkers have also written books like katha sahit sagar brihat katha prithvi raja so and ras tarangini many temples mosques tombs were also constructed now what the political conditions in india during the early medieval period at that time northern india was divided into a number of kingdoms these kingdoms were in constant conflicts with each other for the expansion of their kingdoms chola kingdom was the most powerful kingdom it extended up to the coromandel and madras that is now called as chennai In 19th century the Chola kings met Tanjore their capital after defeating the Pandya rulers they had a very powerful naval fleet in 1025 AD the Chola kingdom uh, there the king Rajendra first conquered Malaya and Sumatra islands the Chola kingdom had trade relations with uh, China and countries of South Asia Europe in medieval period In the 5th century AD with the decline of powerful Roman empire in Europe the medieval period began There was a rise of feudal system The word feudalism comes from the Latin word feudem which means a piece of land which is granted in return for services The people who acquired such lands were known as feudal lords. These feudal lords were responsible for the security of their feudum. The feudal lords had absolute power over their peasants and workers. They lived a luxurious life and treated the peasants very badly. Rise of Arabs. Let's talk about the Arabs. In the 7th century AD Prophet Muhammad peace the religion of Islam this united the arab tribes and they became politically powerful they, they conquered many parts of western asia like jordan syria iraq turkey persia and egypt 
the arabs were expert traders arabs were trading with india china europe and eastern and western africa due to this they became very rich they used their wealth for the development of art science and literature they spread the knowledge of india to the western countries from the 7th century ad the arabs came to india as conquerors the turks became successful in establishing their empire in india and with this began the medieval history of india dear children with this we have completed the chapter and hope you have understood it thank you